All right, so set up with lev scap, um, superior trigger point, really important. Knees bent a bit, which just straightens the pelvis and then it makes it easy to keep the torso straight as well. Arm up by the side, and then you want the head nice and neutral and you don't really want them rotated as well. So pretty much sort of straight line running down. Then what we can do is we can do a pressure going straight towards the floor. You basically, what you do is then you keep that pressure going straight towards the floor, then you just move your hand anteriorly until you flick over and you can see that there flicking over which we've called the plop. <laughs> yeah? If you're not quite getting that, think about the patient position or also if it feels too tight, like really tight, then you can just move the, the arm or the scapula superiorly a little bit which just takes the tension off it so we might see a change there. So that's it there. So you can see that's sort of a much softer type flick than what it was before. See how that's much quicker? Yep. So it just gives you a bit more space. And then you can also pull it off the thoracic wall a little bit more as well. So um, needling with this. I tend to always do it, so I've got my hand over here, and then it just leaves this one nice and free, so I'll swap hands. Hang on the side I do. Go there, flicking over. So I've pushed, got left scap posteriorly, or behind my finger, and then I drag it back away from those transverse processes. So I can basically, I can push down with my finger here, and I'm pushing straight onto the transverse process, so I know that those, that muscle is posterior to the transverse process. And what I do is I sit the needle in and I direct that medially, but I tip it posteriorly as well. So we go straight in there like that. So that's medially and posteriorly. You alright? Mm -hmm. There we go, and we got a nice twitch out of that then. So once you've got that in, change that. Obviously the skin had been dragged, so that the skin's moved and that's changed the position of that needle, but hasn't gone any further and it's sitting in the muscle, so that positioning's fine. If you want to move it again though, make sure you pop that finger on and drag the muscle away, and then you can move it again. Yep. Yeah?